Hello and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord God is good. He's good all, all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon El Che, the Living God, who loves us with a true agape love. He wants to pour that love into our hearts, write that love on our minds, and keep our hearts and minds in perfect peace. He is our resting place. He is our life. All life comes from Him. He's the Creator who created all things, and He wants us for Himself. So cast all of your care before the Lord. Come before Him in, in true love, because He's the one who knows everything about you. He's the one who created you. Yeah, when He pulled that dust together and created Adam and blew his breath into his nostrils, it began the process of human life. <laughs> You're in the right time, in the right place, so don't worry. We are a people chosen by God, a people chosen for God. Philippians chapter 3 says that we are citizens of heaven. It says in verse 20, but we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ lives and we eagerly are waiting for him to return as our Savior. Glory to God. He will take our weak mortal bodies and change them into glorious bodies like his own using the same power which with which he will bring everything under his control I pray that we would get our mind on Christ get our heart up on the Lord and just learn of him I know the situations and circumstances of our lives are great but greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world the God of heaven and earth, the one who sits on the center of the circle of the earth, is greater than everything that's ever known. We don't have to reason about everything. We don't have to keep coming into the mind of the flesh for everything that's going on with us and around us. What we need to make a habit of is staying in the love of God. Staying in His love, because He He loves us. God so loved, he, 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 look at all the situations and circumstances around us. Don't, they pale. They are pale in comparison to the Word. God said, I love this world. I, God so loved the world that He sends His only Son that whosoever would believe on him would not perish, but have everlasting life. It is their choice. It's their choice. But I so believe that if we would stop giving in to the people around us and how they feel and what they're doing and whatever else is going on in the world, whatever else is being said here and there, if we would stop giving in and compromising in, in certain ways <laughs> that we're doing it. See, if we lean on God and sit with Him, take time for prayer. The prayer isn't always about the problem. The prayer is how much I want to sit with you right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I just want to sit in your presence and soak in your love. See, where does wisdom come from for us? It's coming from the Lord. It's coming from the Lord, the knowledge and the, the understanding that we need for whatever's going on around us, the grace that we need, the mercy that we need. It, it's all coming from abiding in His love. If we abide in Him, He will abide in us. If we abide in Him and the Word abides in us, then we're going to be able to say what needs to be said. And lives are going to be transformed around us. We need to look like 
the sun. We need to look like what we what we what we believe. We need to look like him. If Jesus is the exact representation of the Father, the Christ, the Son of God, the Word that became flesh, then so are we. We look like Jesus Christ in the Spirit, right? Our lives emulate, emulate, they 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 operate just like Jesus. Because see we're we're coming before the Father and we're sitting with the Son. We're, we're communing with the Lord and we're allowing His Spirit to lead our lives, to teach us all we need to know. We're not leaning on our own understanding in the hurt and the pain and in the rejections around us. Greater is He that is in you than he that is in the world. This one, this Father who loves us with such an agape love, an unconditional love, He helps to make that known to the to the loved ones around us. Yeah, <laughs> He does. Even if you have, even if there's an argument, even if there's a you know whatever discouragement is going on between people. If you're in the midst of any of that, the wisdom of God, the patience of God, the love of God, the mercy of God, the grace of God is going forward even if you have to walk out of the room. Because you are interceding on those people's behalf. There's a place where they need to come to. And they can't come to that place without a little help. <laughs> I know the Holy Spirit's in in this place. He's wherever he, he, the Holy Spirit is in the world convicting the world of sin, righteousness and judgment. We are who have been called have got our mind on heaven. And we understand our connection between the, the earth and the heaven. We are praying for those who are here in this earth who don't who not who have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord. Or they're they know of him, but they're not acting like him. You can read that in the book of James. And, and in Jude. We're supposed to be the ones who are able to snatch them from the fire, from the pit that they're about to fall into because of your patience and your love. Because of your patience, because of the mercy, and the only way that we're able to stay in this place of love and mercy of having the wisdom at that moment that anybody needs wisdom, including ourselves, is because we abide in Christ. And the Word is abiding in us. The Lord knows how to work out everything for our good because we love Him. It's not a love, it's not the kind of love that's, you know, God is, He's in heaven. We can't see Him with our physical eyes. So we act like everybody else does. God's invisible, therefore I can't see him. I, I just love at him. But this is a different love. This love is an inside love. It's He's with you in your heart. You, you know that God is with you. His words are written on your mind and you keep clinging to him in every situation. Even if you're not in one, in a situation and everything is all right for you. You love him so much, you just want to lift your hands and sing. You want to sit in his presence and say, Lord, what can I do for you? Show me how to pray, Lord God, for, for whomever. <laughs> Help me to intercede for whoever. Whatever it is you need me to do, Lord God, Help me do that so I can glorify your name. And I tell the Lord in the morning, 
what makes my joyful is being able to glorify your name to lift you up before everybody and say Jesus Christ is Lord but he's given me an avenue to do that so I get on here every morning for us who maybe you're discouraged maybe you've been hurt by life maybe the situation in your home is greater than than you and you can't take it anymore. You're swallowed up by sin all around you. But greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I come on here to encourage us to stay in the faith. I want I want to say that you probably noticed that I was going through some changes on um, between December and all through January. I was really under a mental attack. But greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. One of the things I heard from the Lord is, Be still and know that I'm God. Rest. I want you to rest. Because you can get caught up in the cares of this life. And even though you're doing ministry, even though you're living life and thinking, Okay, I'm okay. I can handle this. You're not handling it. You're not. Because if we were really to handle whatever the situations are, we cast every care before the Lord and worship Him. We would worship Him, cast our care before the Lord, and worship Him. Because the God of heaven and earth knows all things, and He knows us, and He knows our situation. If God says relax, go relax. <laughs> I didn't do that. I couldn't find the place to do that. So I'm very thankful for all who have prayed for me. I just want to stay in the secret place of the Most High and dwell there. Because He is the one who will keep the Lord of hosts. He promised to keep our hearts and minds in perfect peace because they're stayed on Him. And guess what? He'll give you the sound mind you need, the clear mind you need, the ready mind you need. In order to be heaven-bound, the, the true citizens of heaven, we're waiting for the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're cast, I have to keep on saying this, casting every care before the Lord. I know what it's like to be around something that you cannot change. But it does not mean that God is not working. And again, God knows how to shut doors and open doors. I'm not leaning on my own strength anymore. I am casting every care. I don't care what it is before the Lord because I know that the Lord cares for me. See, I want to meet Jesus in the air. If we're going to meet Jesus in the air, let's have a ready mind. Let's have a clear, a clear conscience before God. Let's put what hurts down and lift up the Lord lift up the Father the creator of heaven and earth understand I want to say understand what the will of the Lord is but I want us to understand the creator of heaven and earth the, the, our eyes are so into the flesh that we cannot see how great and how much more and how much greater the one who created all things is and how much how worthy he is of praise he's more worthy of praise than the situations of our lives you think <laughs> he knows how to bring peace he knows how to bring order in conclusion I just want to say that God the father of heaven and earth the, the high and lifted up, the exalted one. <laughs> the one who is high and holy. The one who is with us and in us. The one who is for us. The one who created us and made us for his purpose. And has a plan for our lives. He's, he is the peace that we need. And I'm not talking about quiet. I'm talking about an inner peace. 
that keeps our hearts and minds so that we can project, if that's the right word, project His glory. Be what we are in God so that the whole world can see, so that your family can see the living God and how great He is. If, if our hearts are rested, if our minds are rested in the Creator, oh wow, <laughs> it, people can get upset and you're not upset with them or at them or nervous. Uh, you know, I, I I have, I get anxiety when people get upset. Now, I'm not claiming that as something that I'm completely getting over because I didn't understand that that's what was happening with me. I'm, I'm going to be honest. You know, we got to get, we've got to get out of this thing of pride where we're hiding these weaknesses. God takes these weaknesses Jesus took all of our weaknesses and nailed them to the cross. But if we're not willing to confess the weaknesses, then how can we be transformed? How can we really be who we are and <laughs> project, project, project the glory of God? So all that I am, the good and the bad, the Lord knows, and he wants me to be that open book before him so that his name can be written in my heart. Now, the name of the Lord is forgiveness. The, the name of the Lord is helper. The name of the Lord is strength. The name of the Lord is wisdom. The name of the Lord is confidence. The name of the Lord is healing. I'm going to say helper again. The name of the Lord is wisdom and knowledge, especially wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One. The Lord is common. He, he has sat down with us and we sit with Him. We are seated in Christ in the heavenly realm. We have become citizens of heaven. And we need to know the Father of heaven and earth. We need to know the Son of the living God. We need to know our Christ, our Messiah. And let all this junk go. <laughs> so people have a way of, you know, if they're filled with anxiety. I get anxiety. They don't even know what they're going through. And I am like off. <laughs> But greater is he that is in me than he that is in the Lord in the in the world. I can breathe and remain and get back to where I'm supposed to be. Remain in the Lord's presence and hear from the Lord for the situation. And whatever the situation may be, I'm either going to open my mouth in wisdom or I'm going to just keep my peace, like the Lord said, and let them walk through. Because see, the Holy Spirit is working with them even as you keep your peace and go about your business if you give if you have a word of knowledge then you say your word but don't get offended because they bite back at you when you say it because see that used to be my problem they they bite back when the word of knowledge comes for them but that's not my problem that is the Lord's. You know, what did he say? Again, cast all your care upon him because he cares for you. I remember in the book of, um. oh, what, which one is that? Which prophet is it? Samuel. Samuel, he's, he's doing all this for the Lord and the people reject Samuel because they're looking out, outward into the world to try to fix all their problems. They're frustrated and, and they want a God that they can see because the rest of the world has a God that they can see. They want a king. And Samuel, he got depressed. This is where I'm going. Samuel, let's just think about yourself. 
you're hurt by what somebody else didn't receive that you know God wanted to give them, but they didn't take that word and they didn't, you know, they're just going about their business. But God said to Samuel, they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting me. And that's how they ended up with King Saul. But they, you know, they rejected God, not you. Not Saul. I mean, Samuel. <laughs> Sorry if I keep using the name Saul. It was Samuel. Probably the S's. They don't, you know, so we have to stop taking offense when somebody's saying or doing something in such a way and forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And just go pray. Hey, go knit some socks. <laughs> I don't know how to knit. I know how to play knit, but I know how to do a puzzle. I know how to bake cookies. I know how to go do something good rather than let the words and the actions of other people fester in my heart and keep my mind all tangled up in knots. There's too much good to go do. There's too much light to shine in this world to have my mind darkened or inalienated from the life that Jesus came to give me. Cast all the care before God. Take up the word in your heart. Meditate on it night and day. Get to know our Savior. Get to know Elohim Olam, the everlasting God. Because he's in us and with us and to us. He won't throw us away. He's there with us. Isaiah chapter 57. I just love how it reads out of the King James. Verse 15. For thus says the high and lofty one, that inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in a high and holy place with him that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. The Lord will keep you strong. He is the strength of your life. He will keep you strong. So keep your cares on him. Get up and go do something else. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He, uh, oh, verse 19. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him that is afar off and to him that is near, saith the Lord. I will heal him. The Lord creates the fruit of peace in your heart. And in your mouth, you will pursue peace with everybody, even when they reject you, even when it hurts. You'll shake it off and understand that this is the process that they're walking to, through. Rather, they reject or accept Christ. Rather, they want to walk with Christ. It, Whatever it is, you keep doing you in Christ, in God. Stay in this love. You're a citizen of heaven. And our eyes are supposed to be looking upward, not downward. Give God praise and glory. I love you all. Be blessed, people of God. Stay in his love. Bye-bye.